of three heat races for you. Bob Rusinger on the front row with Travis Patterson to his outside. Row two, it's Matt Boucher and Hunter Work in row three, Nate Thompson and Kyle Vanover. Row four, last week's A feature two weeks ago, Shade Stutzman with Alex Donovan and Austin West to round out your order. We are green. Going through one and two, it's Rusinger on the top side. Here comes Worgen through the center. Two by two, we go into three and four. Here comes Boucher to the inside. Lap number one goes to the 5B of Matt Boucher. Hunter Worgen on the move, started fourth up into second. Kyle Vanover started sixth, he's in third in the 19. Vanover finished fourth last week, two weeks ago, and now he'll look to the inside of Worgen, side by side for a second, it's Vanover at the line. Boucher has started to extend the advantage as he works through one and two, Vanover about three car lengths behind him. Worgen, Rusinger, and then the 17 TK, Travis Patterson around, he got your top five. Here comes Stutzman, got the wrap on her finally, and the 22S trying to come to the front. Once again, he was your opening night, a feature winner. So he comes in tonight, your current points leader. Nate Thompson takes a look to the inside of Patterson as well. Thompson running double duty again tonight. I believe he'll be in the modified a little bit later. But up front, Matt Boucher, still your leader as Kyle Vanover starting to reel him in the top two have pulled away. Meanwhile, Stutzman now looks to the inside of Rusinger off a of turn number two. Good side-by-side -side battle for fourth and fifth. Worgen sitting in third, but up front Vanover has closed within a car length and a half as they work through one and two. He and Boucher running about the same line as your top two a straightaway ahead. Two by two, they go down the back straightaway. Oh, Patterson and Thompson got together. Meanwhile, up front Boucher by a half a car length. You've got a race for the lead. Boucher running right to the center. Vanover on the bottom side. Great racing for your top two spots. We're going to come to three to go this time by as the caution's going to fly. Travis Patterson stalled at the exit of turn number two. Looks like his front nose pinned right up against the uh, tire down there. He and Thompson got together a little bit coming off of turn two, and I think pa Patterson just pulled her right into the infield there. Not quite far enough in order to uh, get off the speedway in time to keep her going, so we'll rack up and stack them. And Alex Donovan in the 26 machine. Once again, 26 stock cars here tonight. Top five cars go to the A feature here tonight. Boucher running the middle line. Oh, Vanover fighting a tight race car. Boucher pulls away by about two car lengths. Worgen will close it on Vanover now. Here comes Stutzman to the inside. Three to go this time by Shane Stutzman, the hard charger, started seventh up to third. Here comes the 22S to the front. Worgen back to fourth. Thompson now up into the top five. Easy in your fifth and final transfer spot, but up front it's Boucher with two to go. Three car link lead over Kyle Vanover. Stutzman has caught Vanover. Vanover pushes. Here comes Stutzman. Meanwhile, Thompson will take the spot from Worgen. Puff of smoke coming out of your leader. Oh, Boucher, your leader might have just lost the drive shaft. Something came out loose from underneath. That might be engine issues right there. As he's going to try to baby it off the speedway and caution flag flies, and we got parts all over the front stretch. Oh, we got parts going off the speedway uh, as well. Yeah, I think if uh, anybody's looking for a used piston, yeah, that uh, was talk to the tow crew after the races. There may be one down there. Slightly used. Back to green. We'll see if we have a better start this time. Green is out, and here we go. I believe this is a green-white checkered, by the way. Vanover will jump out to the advantage. He'll pull away as Stutzman starts to push up the speed away a little bit. Here comes Totsman, Thompson excuse me, to his back bumper. Off the corner, white flag is out. Kyle Vanover with a third of a mile to go. Stutzman, Thompson, Worgen, and Rusinger. Donovan routing out your order. Down the back straight away into three and four. One final time. Start at sixth. He'll pick up the heat race win. Give it up for Kyle Vanover. Shane Stutzman, Nate Thompson, 
Connor Worgen and Bob Rusinger will round out your top five, all going to the A feature. Alex Donovan will be relegated to a B, but picking up the heat race win, the 19, it's Kyle Van Over. Row number four to the inside, the 53R, that's gonna be a Big Haas, Larry Robinson. On his outside, the 51, that's gonna be Devin Shelm, and Steve Shepard's gonna make up row number five. Excuse me, little uh, Larry Robinson Jr. is gonna be in the 53R, not Big Haas. Little Larry Robinson Jr. Good start for the sixth machine, Jeremy Down, he's got a big advantage going down the back stretch and into turn number three. Dan Jackson has moved up into the second spot, but he's got pressure to the inside from last year's stock car track champion, the 1R, Cade Richards. Richards now looking to the inside of Dan Jackson. Jackson able to fight him off. Down the back stretch, Jackson will pull away by a half a car length. Richard goes back to work on the inside. Slides up, could he close the door? No, Jackson's still there. But Richards has the spot by a nose. Turns one and two were a little better for Dan Jackson, he'll get the spot back. Now we'll move to the outside of Down. Jeremy Down now dives to the inside. He's gonna cut off the momentum, the 1R of Cade Richards. It's a three, now a four car dance as the 83 of Jeff Ware is throwing his hat in the ring. Dan Jackson now up into that lead spot. Jeremy Down in second. Richards is gonna dive to the inside. Richards will take the second spot away. After leading a few laps, Jeremy Down now moved back to third, and he's got a lot of pressure from the 83 of Jeff Ware. Ware slides up the racetrack. Shell might have gotten into the outside retaining wall. Exit a turn two. That allowed Robinson to get by. Cade Richards has gotten by. Dan Jackson is your race leader. So much action on the racetrack, I can't keep up with it all. Five laps to go, coming to four laps left to go. The one arcade, Richards, your race leader. Then Dan Jackson, Jeff Ware, Robinson, Down, Shelm, and Haney. Alex Johnson and your final car out there, the 20 T of Steve Shepard. Cade Richards, Dan Jackson, Jeff Ware. Devin Shelm maybe having some issues. He's off the pace and saves it, but nope, it's gonna be, he's gonna get high centered on the berm in turns three and four. I think with all the rain we've had, Dan, that's not the place you wanna be right now. I don't know if he's gonna be able to get out of that one by himself. All right, here we go. Heat race number two of three. They're lined back up. Your A1 iron stock cars. Cade Richards, Dan Jackson, Jeff Ware, Robinson, Haney, Johnson, and Shepard. Green flag is out. Dan Jackson won his heat race two weeks ago when we were in action. Oh, Jeff Ware got a good run on Jackson. Little smoke out of Jackson. I think that's just a tire rub as the car rolls over in the corner. A lot of travel in that car and a little bit too much. He washes up the racetrack. Ware's gonna take advantage. He's gonna pull up side by side. It was a drag race down the back stretch. Checkered flag is out. Who's gonna get second? Dan Jackson holds on for the second place finish as Cade Richards comes out of the third row to pick up the win. Jeff Ware settles for third. And Larry Robinson Jr. in your top four. Mike Nichols finished second in the opening night of the season. Horsham and Laughlin set to bring us to the green flag final stock car heat race of the night. We are racing. Laughlin, oh, a little bit of an elbow thrown. We've got carnage all over the place. Beckman getting stuck to the outside guardrail. Boy, 
Marty Steinbach looked like he was going to go ahead and go around, but actually he was saved by Horsham. Heavy right front damage to the three machine. Boy, all of a sudden, Mike Nichols, who started row number three, is outside the front row. Grabowski inside row two. Damon Richards, who was set to start in the eighth spot, already up into the top four. Once again, we take the top five automatically to the feature, and we are racing. Final stock car heat of the night. We'll see if we can get her in as Nichols with a good start. Here comes Richards to the outside. He'll rip the top lip. Three wide, going into three and four. Here comes Grabo to the inside. Crossover move by Laughlin, not going to be enough. Richards in second. Mike Nichols takes it into one and two. Some of these guys still having issues pushing up the speedway as we've got caution coming out. Uh-oh, looks like the push truck needs the push. Uh, did we lose a push truck? Can we get a push? Can I, can I get a little push? Hold on a second, sorry. Come on, sound engineer. Push in the push truck. There you go. It's got a little ring to it. All right. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this wrapped this, up. This has been bizarre the first three heats. Cinco de Mayo got us all crazy right now. Too we'll much see tequila. Nichols can do. Yeah. <laughs> And Nichols will run right through the center. One and two. Richards, who is really good up top. He chooses the bottom side. Here goes Grabo right around to the outside of him. Jordan Grabowski up into second. The only driver in IMCA history to win a national championship in two different classes of the same season. Did that in 2019 in the modified at Stock Car. He'll try to run down a 10-time IMCA Stock Car national champion, one of the winningest drivers in all of IMCA. Mike Nichols in the 63. He is your defending national champion. Grabowski working the bottom side. Richards back there in third. Laughlin, oh, picks up that left front on the bottom side of one and two. He'll pull away once again. And then it is the 10J, Jeremy Bolin. He's in the fifth and final transfer. Meanwhile, Grabowski starting to reel in Nichols as they go into one and two. Here goes Grabo on the bottom side. Nichols right back up top. Pulls away by about a car length and a half. Both drivers go into three and four on the top side. Halfway down this time by. Five down, five to go. Mike Nichols from Harlan, Iowa, making the trip over. Racing with us here from what he said a few weeks ago until Shelby County Speedway opens back up. So glad to have Mike here on a weekly basis for the next few weeks. Grabowski still within striking distance, though, as we're down to four to go. Nichols, Grabowski, Richards, Laughlin. Bolin and the three of Horsham. Grabowski not letting Nichols run away quite yet. Three to go. Caden Murray on the flag stand letting him know. Here goes Grabo to the inside. Side by side off a of two, but Nichols pulls away. Once again, working the top side at three and four. Grabowski in the middle. This track really starting to whiten out already. Two to go this time by. Here comes Grabowski to the inside of one and two. Your race for the lead coming off at two. Nichols with the advantage by a half of Carly Grabowski. Just not enough as Nichols stronger coming off the corner. Grabowski better in the center with a white flag on a third of a mile to go. I feel a slider coming on. Slide job could be. We'll see. Nichols pushes it off a turn number two into the final two turns. Grabowski on the bottom side. He'll try it one more time. Nichols to the outside. Oh, hold on. Mike Nichols, your winner. Grabowski will hold on for second. Richards will come home third. It'll be Laughlin and Bolin, your top five. Horsham will round out your order, but give it up for your heat race. We're to the 63. It's Mike Nichols. And another impressive set of heat race Action for your A1 Iron Stock Cars. Row number two, the 22J, Nick Jensen on his outside, the ZOOM, Cody Muth. The 7S, Nick Shannon, and the 3N, Neil Pello, rake up row number three. The 88K, Jeremy Kinsey, and the 4K, Kristen Kirsten Bruce, row number four. Jared Jackson, Jeff Rotts, one number six. 
I do not see Jeff Watts out there. But Tyler Jackson's going to take the early race lead. Eight laps to go. Top four are moving on. Nick Jensen up to that second spot. Neil Pella working on third. With the 53 of Trent Dowdy. Cody Muth looking to the inside of Pella. Three wide battle. Now it's slowing down to a two by two battle. All the while, Jackson is gone. Tyler Jackson checking out. Tyler Jackson, four laps left to go. 22J, Nick Jensen in second, Neil Pella in third, battles for fourth. Oh, up the track goes Muth. Jeremy Kinsey holding on to that fourth and final transfer spot. He's starting to reel in the three in a Neil Pella. Two to go. White flag is out. Final time for Tyler Jackson. I do believe Nick Jensen starting to reel him in just a little bit, but a lot of advantage for the 13 team. Neil Pella holding on to that third spot. In the 88K, Jeremy Kinsey, your fourth and final transfer. Checkered flag waves. Tyler Jackson gets the win. Nick Jensen in second. The three and Neil Pella in third. And your final transfer, the 88K, Jeremy Kinsey. Row four, the 17 TK, a Travis Patterson, and the six of Jeremy Down. Row five, the five, Eli Marty Steinbach, and the 51 of Devin Shelm. And Austin West to the 25 to round out your order. Set to go green, and we are racing here in your stock cars. A little bit of Rubens racing going into one. Donovan pushes up the speedway. And we've got a no holds barred down the back straightaway. Here comes the 22, Nick Beckman into three and four. Dan, three wide coming to the line. Oh, a little squirrely on the exit. Got contact, one car going to the infield. Up over Mini E, that's the five, Eli. And now we got another car on the uh, guardrail exiting turn one. Caution is out. Little Dukes of Hazard right there for Marty. So here we go. Nick Beckman on the point. Marty Steinbach in that second spot. Set to bring him back to the green flag. We got a car stuck in the mud, turn three. Caution will come out. Sounds like he lost power going uh, into the corner, so he tried to per turn off, but not enough momentum to get over the mud and out of that muck. All right, real quick, get him up, get him up, get him up. We're doing it again. Take a drink. Green flag is back out, nine to go. Nick 
Beckman. Oh, up the racetrack goes Beckman. That opens the door. Marty Steinbach takes the race lead. Nick Beckman, then Tim Horsham out of turn four. Battle to watch right now. Here comes Jeremy down, trying to race his way into the mix. Here comes the six machine. Now into the fifth and final transfer. Keep your eye on him. Here comes Travis Patterson to the outside. Now here comes the 13, Alex Johnson into the mix as well. Those three cars trying to race their way in. A great battle going into one. Top five, as we've said. A little bit of a dip there into turn one. Not slowing our leader, Marty Steinbach, down at all. Six to go, Beckman in second, Tim Horsham. How about Tim Horsham in third? Up out of the Sport Compact's ranks. Worked all last year figuring that three machine out. He's sitting third in our B feature. Marty Steinbach of the 22. Nick Beckman have absolutely checked out in this one. Tim Horsham in that third spot. The 13 of Johnson and fourth. Shelm looks like his night is done to the 51. Tough break for him. Oh, contact. Here comes the six of Jeremy down. He got together with Johnson. Here comes Patterson into the mix as well. Once again, top five cars going on to the feature. So that battle for the final transfer. And here comes Patterson to the inside of Johnson. Top two is straight away ahead. Then it's Horsham down. And now Patterson in the fifth and final transfer. Two laps left to go. Caden Murray gives him the signal. You got two laps to figure it out, boys and girls. Marty Steinbach is gone. Nick Beckman. Tim Horsham starting to get a little pressure from the six of Jeremy Down. Travis Patterson, your fifth and final transfer. White flag is out. Final time. Nice and easy down the back stretch. Marty Steinbach's gonna pull it out of turn number four. He'll see the checkered flag and pick up the win. Nick Beckman will come home in second. Here's a battle for third out of nowhere. Jeremy Town's gonna take it. Tim Horsham in fourth. And it'll be Travis Patterson, your final transfer. So how about it? Picking Ooh. up the B feature win, the 5 line, Marty Steinbach. A night where you get to watch Jeff Ware, Jordan Grabowski, Kyle Vanover, Cade Richards, Mike Nichols, Shane Stutzman, all battle for the race win. How about four wide? Race fans off of turn number four, how about it, your A1 Iron Stock Cars! Once again, we'll be back in action next Saturday night, Junior Fan Club Night in the house. I believe they'll have a candy dash at intermission. Hope to have you out next Saturday night. Same time, same place, same great action at America's Home Track. You better get your picks in. This is gonna be nuts. There are some heavy hitters in this A feature. Gary Laughlin, Hunter Worgen. Nice and easy, side by side, 20 laps out of turn four. Green flag is out. These guys are going to be battling for every inch of real estate. Van Over looking underneath Horsham, who goes up the racetrack. Horsham gets a big shot in the rear end by Mike Nichols. Jordan Grabowski up to third already. Lap number one will go to the 2X of Hunter Worgen. Hunter Worgen, your leader, run on the top side beautifully. Here comes Nate Thompson. Worgen gonna duke it out with some of the best modified drivers right behind him. Here goes Grabo to the inside. Worgen still your leader, Grabowski up to second. Jordan Grabowski takes over that second spot, but Hunter Worgen starting to pull away. 
Nate Thompson in third. Jeff Ware holds on to fourth. Mike Nichols right behind him. Thompson a little slow on the exit of turn two. Grabowski looks to the inside of Workin. Workin just too strong. Oh, Ware, Ware got it. too loose off the corner. Collects Kane Richards. They stay clean and green. Richards up to fourth. Jeff Ware working that high side. Richards working the low side where he loves. Ware gives Richards a shot in the bumper. You got a new race leader out of turn four. Jordan Grabowski, your new leader. Hunter Wergen back to second. Nate Thompson third, Kane Richards fourth, Mike Nichols fifth. Here comes Stutzman, but Ware will shut the door. One car going into the infield. That's Larry Robinson Jr. Doesn't even bother lifted, stays on the throttle, gets back onto the racetrack. 16 laps to go for Jordan Grabowski, Hunter Wergen, Nate Thompson, Kate Richards, Mike Nichols. Shade Stutzman gets by Jeff Ware. Jeff Ware crosses over. You got to battle down the back stretch. Grabowski starting to pull away, but you've got three wide back there for second. Kane Richards, your defending track champion up to second. Thompson third. Here comes Wergen to Nichols. Oh, Wergen gives a big shot to Nate Thompson in the corner. Nichols gets by Wergen. 14 to go. Now 13 laps left to go. Jordan Grabowski is cruising. Cade Richards starting to reel him in though. Nate Thompson, Mike Nichols. Nichols now looking to get by Thompson. Shane Stutzman putting pressure on Hunter Worgen, but Worgen will shut the door. Van Over and Ware going at it. Here comes Mike Nichols to the inside of Thompson off the floor. Mike Nichols in the 63 started ninth up to third. Jordan Grabowski just dipped into the 16 second bracket. So did Cade Richards. Those are the only two cars put down 16 second laps at Eagle Raceway. Mike. 11 laps left to go as the scoreboard takes another break. Mike Nichols starting to try to reel in. Cade Richards, oh, one car off the pace on the front straightaway. Tim Horsham. Caution is out, excuse me. Dan Jackson in the 3 a.m. I believe had a hood pin come off. So that hood is blocking his view. He pulls off the racetrack. Tim Horsham is stopped in the middle of turns three and four. Jeff Ware, Damon Richards. Marty Steinbach and Larry Robinson. 11 laps to settle it. That big lead for Jordan Grabowski is gone. Grabowski goes to the top of one and two. Richards will try to keep up with him. Nichols falls back in third. Here comes Stutzman to the inside of Thompson. Thompson shuts the door. Van over all over Wergen as well. Tell you what, Kane Richards starting to catch Grabowski. Richards is reeling in the 30 of Jordan Grabowski. Cade Richards is there. Your defending track champion putting pressure on the 30 of Jordan Grabowski. Grabowski, Two Richards. cars. Two cars around turn three. Caution is out. Uh, good catch. Closest to the infield, spun out the 10, stopped to not hit him. I think uh, Jeremy Bolin is one of them, and then Gary Laughlin, the other one. Stalled in three and four. Van over, Worgen. How about Steinbach? Marty Steinbach came from the B feature and he is into the top 10. Keep your eye on the five, Eli. Oh, what a move by Cade Richards. Sticking right there with Jordan Grabowski. Mike Nichols, too, right there in the tire tracks of the 1R. Nichols bobbles a little bit on the exit of turn number two. Two cars go around right in front of the field. Everyone scatters. Oh, no! Tim Horsham slides right into the back bumper of the 5 Eli. Yeah, I saw that one. Uh, Worgen and Steinbach got together at the exit of turn two. Boy, what a great job by everyone to avoid contact there. And just up right there for Horsham. Just couldn't quite get her turned in time. So here we go, eight laps left to go. Jordan Grabowski trying to look for the win. Won three features last year here at America's Home Track. He'll turn him loose one more time. As, oh, Jeff Ware goes into the mud. Oh, no. Good start, though, for Cade Richards. He's right there on the back bumper of Jordan Grabowski. 
We might have a battle for the race lead out of turn four. Six laps left to go. Grabowski, Richards, Nichols, Thompson, Stutzman, and Van Over. Stutzman looks to the inside of Thompson as they work down the back straightaway in a three of four. Cade Richards closes in one more time on Grabo. Meanwhile, here comes Van Over trying to reel in Stutzman. Jordan Grabowski. Nice and steady, starts to pull away from your defending track champion in the stock cars, the one arcade Richards. Mike Nichols holding on to third, battle is for fourth. Shane Stutzman looked to the inside of Nate Thompson. Everyone working the top side of the speedway as they go down the back straightaway into three and four. Grabo now goes to the center and the bottom in three and four. Mike Nichols starting to reel in your top two. Meanwhile, here comes Stutzman to the inside of Thompson. He'll take the spot. Shane Stutzman with a nice move on the low side gets by the three T and Nate Thompson. Oh, now Steinbach, who was warned several times to get off the racetrack. Uh, that might be an engine. That might have hurt the engine. We'll have to figure it out. Grabowski Definitely. trying to hold off Richards right there as they go on to three and four. Dan, this is going to be a good race. We could have a three-car battle here shortly. Three to go, and lap traffic could come into play. Absolutely. This is when you get up on your feet, Eagle Raceway. Kate Richards gives a little kiss to Jordan Grabowski. Just to let him know he's there, a little bit of a love tap. Oh, Richards pushing it just a little too hard. Here comes Nichols. Two to go. Here we go, race fans. Eagle Raceway, get on your feet. As Richards, can he run down Grabo? He was there a lap ago, made a slight mistake. Nichols is trying to capitalize, but now Richards starting to reel in Grabowski again. Final time. A third of a mile to go, lap traffic in front of your leader. Here goes Grabo, three wide with the lap car. This could be the winning move. He'll go through three of four. One final time, picking up win number one. It's Grabo, Jordan Grabowski. Kane Richards, Mike Nichols, Shane Stutzman, and Kyle Vanover will round out your top five. Boy, Richards was there, that bobble with, what, two or three to go, costly, and Grabowski nice and smooth, the winning move getting around those two lap cars. Wow. One more time, I ask it almost every week, Eagle Raceway, what do you think of that one? Eagle Raceway hanging out here with your A1 Iron Stock Car feature winner, Jordan Grabowski, you've been kind of riding a roller coaster the beginning of this year with some of those early spring specials. It's got to feel great to get that first Eagle stock car victory off your back. Yeah, it felt, it felt good tonight. Uh, it's uh, it's, it's going to be tough here weekly, especially as good of cars that have been here. So um, just happy to get, get the monkey off our back here get on, on week two and, and uh, just need to, need to get, get that model done. All right, Eagle Raceway, give it up for him one more time in the Dirty 30, Mr. Jordan Grabowski.